Snowball, he was he was chill this time. He wasn't he wasn't a bad character like last time. He got a lot he got a lot of issues worked out. He he got a lot of his uh a lot of his villainisms out the way, you know. I think we started off as a villain and ended that movie with Snowball finding the one thing that he wanted, which was love. Uh, and growing up in the house now that he's in with this little girl has made him somebody else. But she's also put him in a costume, you know, I mean. You're for, a superhero, man. I have to be. Why else would she be dressing me like this? You only dress superheroes up the way that they're supposed to look. This is obviously me being a superhero. She knows what I am and who I am. So I embrace it, I believe it. And now my new journey is about protecting people and being called on. And when I am called on, you best believe I'll fulfill whatever mission is thrown my way. And I do get called on. So now that I've been called on, oh, now we got action. Uh -oh. Snowball got action. Captain Snowball is out and is real and I'm gonna make it do what it do. Um, and you and got something over on Dwayne now because you're a superhero. He hasn't played it. He's he coming played out it. with a superhero yeah. movie. He hasn't but. played it. He hasn't played a superhero yet. This makes me better. Yeah, I'm better. You heard me, Dwayne. I'm better. Now, you okay? Are you? Because a lot of people are throwing off this week with the whole Game of Thrones. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> Y'all can keep that in there. Um, look, this is a prime example of let people do the work. Okay? That man was writing them books. Now, granted, he may have taken a long time. These books are amazing, though, okay? You gotta leave that man alone. Let him finish the books. Instead, they took it, and they went and created stuff, and altered and changed, and it just didn't end the way it was supposed to, because they didn't let that, that man finish the books. So my suggestion is to send him to, a, to an island somewhere, let him finish the books and give us the real ending that we deserve. It's too much time and energy put into such an amazing show. Will Kevin sign a petition? I will not only sign a petition, I will put my face on the front of the daggone pamphlet that y'all taking around. So many questions, man. Seriously, ain't supposed to die like that? That's supposed to be a bloody death. Why didn't the dragon, why didn't the dragon Try to burn Jon Snow and then Jon Snow survive the burning because he's a Targaryen. What? I mean, there's so many questions. Oh, Goodness I open, I open a can of worms. I'm sorry, Kevin. Dinklage, if he's a prisoner, he can't dictate how the king should be determined to be. It's so much, man. Let it out. Sorry. All right. Sorry. Did you, now, you sorry. got Indiana Jones himself. Here's the board. Harrison Ford playing Rooster. Playing Rooster in this movie, man. Here's the beauty of Harrison Ford being in Secret Life of Pets 2. Harrison Ford is doing Harrison Ford playing Rooster. And it's the most genius thing I've ever seen. It's the most genius thing that I've ever seen or heard. He's phenomenal in this film. I love the message behind his character and uh, Max and Duke. And I love how all stories mesh and merge up to one point. What we all need. We all need, we all need to be around. It's so good, man. Now, is the, is the message true is for parents, is the message for the parents when to actual, actually let time, yeah. let, the, let go, yeah. let, let the kids Including go. myself, including myself. You know, I think hardest thing in the world as a parent is to not let go, you know? You want to hold on forever, you want to keep that attachment. Hardest thing is, it was taking the baby steps of, all right, I want you to discover independence and freedom and do what you want. And I'm going to... Come here. Get back over here. Get... Nope, nope. Don't go over there. Stay over here. Get in the house. Don't go back. It's, it's very hard, especially within today's times. So, like I said, it's something I struggle with, too. But I think this movie will give the message that so many need. Um, and people will find that positive. You'll find it. You'll find it. You'll accept it. You'll embrace it. And you'll slowly let your kids grow up and, and become the independent beings that they should be. Now I want to know, from the last pets, how many dogs or animals have you... Two. Two. Oh, that's two. two. Two, 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 two. Boxy and Riggs. That's it. Oh, yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I'm you good. know, they can use this as leverage like that. You know, I want to... No, no, no. Uh, my kids can go somewhere and get out my face. Get out my face. And I get another dog in here. Y'all don't take care of the two dogs that we got. 
Don't Daddy's rich. Nothing. That's why you're rich. You know, they, don't they get. do nothing. I do it all. No. You walk the dogs? Well, when I'm home, I mean, I do stuff. It's just like, whatever. We don't need to get into that. It's just, you get what I'm trying to say. I'm just, all right, you know what I'm saying. Jumanji 2, it's, coming, it's on its yeah, way. Yeah, huh? yeah, we just finished. Uh, I'm excited about it. Very, very big movie, you know. Uh, Dwayne, myself, Nora, uh, Nick Jonas, Jack Black, Karen Gilliam. Um, you know, we, we literally did bigger and better than what we did the first time, which is a great thing. And how you doing? Because I saw you were dancing, yeah. and then you fell. I mean, my hip has seen better days. I'm not going to sit up here and lie about that. A little sore. But it's all right. You know, it's not about falling. It's about how you get up. I got up. Now, granted, I limped a little bit when I got up, and I didn't finish my food because I was embarrassed. Uh, but the floor was wet, all right? It's a lot of stuff people don't see, so don't judge me. The carpet right. was wet? Well, it was like a little foot. Look, tomato, tomato. We ain't got to get into that. <laughs> and what do you want people to, uh, to take away from, from this film? Uh, that it's a movie for everybody. It's a family movie with a great message, and at the end of the day, family is very important. Without family, you have no real trust. Put some family up, put them around, and just, just, just share this energy. That's my, that's my assessment. Share this energy because it's, it's a movie, it's a feel-good movie is what I would like to call it. And what was it like working with Tiffany? You guys did night school together, you guys are... Tiffany is great. I love Tiffany to death. I, I just, I'm always excited to see her progress in the business and not digress, so no complaints there. Want more extra? Hit the subscribe button and the bell and never miss a video.